at the Combine with NFL Network insider Jim Trotter. Jim, I appreciate your time, man. It's, it's been a slow couple months in the Bay Area, but things starting to heat up. It's draft season. It's also rumor season. What do you make of everything that's going on uh, at the current point in the NFL calendar? Uh, I, I don't pay much attention to the rumors right now. It's it's who was talking about today it was John Schneider of the Seahawks or GM and he was talking about everything gets thrown out at this point and you just wait to see what sticks. Um, you're going to hear wild things. We hear it every year. Some of it pans out, some of it doesn't. So you just try not to get caught up into that wave and, and just sort of be discerning and, and distill what the real facts are. We uh, have the pleasure of having you up in the Bay a couple times each year, whether it's at a game or during a training camp. And, and tell me, where do you what do you make of where this team is at, where the organization at now, as, as Kyle uh, and John are going into year three? You know, I think they, they've done a good job of laying their foundation and creating a culture. That was a big thing when Kyle came in and John came in. They wanted to establish a, a, a culture where people could be successful, where it could be competitive. Um, they could be comfortable, all those things. And I think they've done that. Now the key is getting the personnel to go out and win. Because I'm, I'm a big, you know, truthfully here, 100% honest, I'm a big Kyle Shanahan fan. I think in terms of game planning and and offensive IQ and whatnot, there are a few who are as smart as he is and as clever as he is in terms of putting together game plans and those things. So I, I, I really just want to see what he can do when he has a healthy roster. If you're a player going into year three, you're considered a veteran at that point, right? You don't get to be, you know, the rookie, have those rookie mistakes. And so if you're talking for John and Kyle now in year three, they're veterans at this. And so uh, what do you think they've learned through those first two years? And, and what do you think, you know, do you see in teams you've covered over the past, maybe there's a jump where it's just a little bit more comfort, a little bit more at ease um, in, in terms of what you're doing in your day-to-day uh, -day operations? You know, I think you're always learning and growing to say exactly what they've learned. Um, I don't know that that's for me to say at this point. What I would say is that the key in this game besides you can have great coaches, but you have to have players. And at the end of the day, they've got to get their players right in terms of their player selection. So that's why I think this is a really big year for them. And in some ways, um, in some ways, it's it's a curious offseason from the standpoint of we know where the draft is strong, and the 49ers have allotted a lot of picks in that area. So do you go down that road again, or do you go another road? And I, I don't know how they're going to handle that. I'm, I'm really interested in seeing. Um, but there's no question they have got to get more playmakers um, on both sides of the ball here. And I think if they do that, then I think, um, I think it's going to be a fun year. Appreciate your time, man. You got it, man. My pleasure.